In Python, class customization allows you to define how a class behaves for a specific operation such as printing or accessing attributes. You can customize classes by creating instance methods using special method names or the double underscores before and after the name of the method. And there's also rich comparison methods which overload some common comparison operators. The table on the right shows examples of rich comparison methods and the overloaded operator they represent. There's double underscore LT, double underscore, which stands for less than, and, and it, there's also LE for less than or equal to, GT for greater than, GE for greater than or equal to, EQ for equal to, and NE for not equal to. These rich comparison methods allow you to customize the way that these operators work. And let's take a look at some examples of class customization in Python. In this example, we have a class called person, and all we have in there is a constructor that initializes the name, age, and weight of a person. And then in our main method, we declare and instantiate a person object called person1. We pass in some data, and check out what happens if we just try to print person1. So this is what we get. It prints out the memory address location of where that object is located in memory for that person one object. So we could do some class customization to affect the way that a person object is printed. And to do that, let's create our own method called str. And all we're going to do in there is return um, a nice formatted string version of how we want our person object to be printed out if we were to call this print print function. So let's return uh, f string formatted self dot name is self dot age years old and weighs self dot weight lbs. Okay. So now when I run the program without making any changes here in this main method, it should pick up this format and display the Kanye West information that way rather than printing out the memory address location. And you can see here after running the program, it worked exactly as we described. And that is some class customization. So we changed the behavior of how something is printed that is a person object. So the next thing we're going to do is test out the rich comparison methods by overloading the less than operator. And to do that, let's just add our own less than operator by defining double underscore LT for less than. And we could just check. We can compare ages. Let's just check if the calling object self.age is less than other.age. And checking it's a comparison, so let's add an if before it. If that is true, we will return true, else return false. Okay, so now anytime we use the less than operator on any two person objects, it's only going to compare their ages and to determine if one object is less than the other. So let's see how that works. So in order for us to try it out, we need another person. Let's create a person too. And that is going to be Joey Biden. And he is about 114 years old. And he's, let's just say he weighs 204 pounds. So now let's see how the less than overriding works. So if we compare two person objects, let's just print this out. Let's say person one less than person two. If person one's age is less than person two's age, this should give you true. And it is true. But let's compare person two's age with person one. Is person two's age less than person one's age? That'll give you false. So we overrode the less than operator to compare two person objects is ages only. We could have rewrote this less than rich comparison method to compare their weight or the 
their names alphabetically or we could have written it any way that we wanted to compare two person objects but we decided to just compare their ages only to determine if one person is less than another person.